Welcome back to the 200 Challenge. This is episode 149, meaning we've already found 51 kilos out of the car with stripping out interior from the first episode, stripping out wire harness from the second episode, so 51 kilos of weight saving so far. This time around, we're gonna have fun with this, taking the windows out, and this, cutting a hole in the roof. This is what I'm gonna use to try to get the windows out, a little bit of ED40, just to, to lubricate a little bit between the, the seal and the window to try to break the friction there. Uh, some plastic wedges and, and crowbars here to, to try to pry the, the window out from the seal. If that doesn't work, I got a carpet knife here to cut the seal and just lift it out. After I've done that, I'm gonna inspect the surface a little bit because there are some rust prone areas there and I wanna get a feeling for, for how bad it is. Access. I'm going to take the, the windows out uh, first step and uh, I need to do that also to, to be able to give some access as I'm going to weld the, the roll cage into the car. So first thing is to get the, the trim off here. So I'm using just a, a plastic little scraper thing to try to pry this off. Try to be gentle so I don't damage this one too much. This one's just glued in place. Okay, got it off nicely. To get the window out, uh, it sits with this big seal here. I'm just gonna try to use a little bit of violence on it. And also use this to try to just get the grip to release. As you can see, this is really fun. And the rubber has been here for, I guess, 30 years now. So it, it gets a little bit stuck just to, to the edges here. As soon as you get it to, to lift off, then it will just pop right out. There's a first time for everything and knowing what I know now, I should really have spent tons of more effort at making sure that it's loose all the way around before even trying to pry it out. Doing what I'm doing here really risks breaking the window. So as soon as you break the bond here, I'm working on this side here. I try to loosen up a little bit on the other side here. But as soon as I can get this corner to pop out, then the whole thing will pop out. I'm gonna make an attempt to push it out now because I got this whole stretch done. It should pop out, hopefully I don't break it. There we go, one side went out. It's really gooish. Wow, it's a lot of water in here. This is not good. I'm gonna see how this edge looks here. Uh, the water is only on the outside. It actually looks good here. But wow, it's really glued, the, the window here. I thought it was supposed to sit only on the seal. So this actually looks really bad. While I was in here, I took some of the, the more bracketing out of the car as well. My good friend Jon Erik, he was very gracious to, to give me the workshop manual how you convert a normal Carrera 2 or Carrera 4 into a cup car. This one depicts all of the things that you need to do with, with the chassis, the brackets that you should remove, as well as where you should change from spot welding to, to full seam welding. So this is stuff that I'm all going to do on this car here. As I did that, for example, this is a little lining cover here that, that sits here. Uh, it's they're not very difficult to remove if you do it in the right way in my previous video I was just grinding down the spot welds. That's a not very intelligent way of doing it The very intelligent way of doing it is using just a normal drill with a, a spot weld driller So this one will actually this one is completely flat on the edge and It will just drill through the spot. Well, unfortunately, I broke mine here after I had taken out almost everything that I wanted to take out. Whoa. I'm gonna have a stab about taking the rear windshield out. Uh, before I, I cut it open, I'm gonna try with just getting some DD40 under the seal here, lube it up a bit. If that works, I can just push it out. I'll, I'll see what works best. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about taking this uh, the windscreen out here. Yes, I can see that I've had some rust bubbles here for, for a while. Uh, 
I, I was a little bit afraid that on the inside here that it was going to be really hard to seal and it really is so I don't think I'm doing myself any favors with doing this so I'm going to see if I can cut it from the outside and just lift the, the windscreen out what I tried next was really just sectioning the, the seal, putting the carpet knife on towards the glass, pulling it gently down. Okay, this, this corner is up here now. I actually pulled the seal down under it. So if I pull here, I'm actually just gonna tear the seal. Don't break, don't break. Okay, got it. Bring me up. Uh, at, the, at the very bottom here, the rear window, there's uh, a little rust prone area here and on the other side, water gets trapped here. So I'm, uh, I'm just going to use a steel brush here and ungently brush this area a little bit just, just to get an idea about the extent of the damage here. It's, it's actually not too bad. Uh, here is just a little dent. A little filler and, and this one will be good here same here there, there is a hole here uh, I will have to repair this I'll zoom in a little bit here so you can see uh, so there's there's a little dent just in the edge there what worked in the back should work here as well Using what I learned from the rear window, I started cutting the perimeter, allowing me to, to lift the window out. There, there's a little, uh, small little groove in the, the seal here. If you just cut straight down on that one, you'll just go at the edge of the, the windscreen here. I have a small, little dent in my window here and as I did this it cracked so this one is toast I didn't intend to break that windscreen I don't know if it's the original windscreen from this car it, it might very well be so it had some some nicks and some dents in it so I'm not overly concerned about that however it's a little bit of a failure I, I, I I knew what I did wrong. I should have prepped much more, gone over it a few times more with, with the VD40 and, and really made sure it was loose everywhere. I should have cut the seal much more properly and, and then lifted the windscreen out rather than prying it. So, my bad. I think this one will make it quite well. Just a little bit of spot blasting here and a little filler and this one is good. There's a few small mini holes here, uh, not that much. I was expecting this to be a lot worse. Some of the videos I've seen on YouTube on this is really super bad. They have to change this entire piece here, but on my car, it's actually very little. <laughs> so now for the fun part, taking the roof out. So wasp, try to cut it out. I don't know if this one is actually strong enough. My compressor is a little bit underpowered, so this will probably not cut it. This guy is good, but I'm really low on discs with this one, so I think I'm gonna have to use this. And I really don't like this one for doing this kind of job because it's way too heavy and it kind of jolts when you when you kickstart it. So that's no good, but we'll see if I need to use that. Also got a short load remover to, to get some of the bracketing out and a good old PP. For the, the purists out there, you might not like the rest of this episode, so. If you're one of those, then, then support me anyway, please. Out. Nothing for the purists. I don't know what I'm disassembling here, but I guess I need to disassemble it to get into the meat of this. It's quite a massive structure to, to hold the, uh, the sunroof in place here. It's got a, a few beams in here and uh, 
I'm going to be saving like in the end, about two, two, three centimeters. I'm going to cut it a little bit more, like like eight, nine, ten, maybe, to to begin with, and then cut it down from there as I get the final roof here. What I'm going to start with is just cutting these beams out. I'm just going to take this one with a new battery. Now the roof only sits in the actual roof. So I'm now I'm gonna cut the roof. I only need about this much for the new roof to, to adhere to this. So since this, this section here is just to, to remove the roof, I'm gonna leave a little bit more and I do kind of a coarse cut now uh, and just cut, cut closer to, to the actual sunroof. Uh, and once I have it out, then it's easier to trim because I can stand in the middle of the car and I can be a little bit finer. But now it's just about getting the, the roof out. And very important, this is the piece that is going out. This, uh, this feels very wrong. Uh, but uh, it's too late to turn back now since I've already cut everything on the inside and car's a wreck. So better go forward. It's not a lot left on this one, huh? Almost uh, the fixer is bigger than the disc. This uh, roof really eats discs. It's amazing how hard it is. Small disc. Oh. Fortunately, don't have any more of this. Big disc. This will not go out. I'm going to saw straight through the corners here. Uh, or just just uh, through the shell here because it actually sits on the uh, the uh, beam that goes across here uh, So as soon as I kind of cut it loose here I, I think I'll be able to lift it out or at least feel if I can lift it out to do this but it hasn't arrived yet so that's why I have to use this completely stupid method of trying to cut the last little millimeter there. There we go, hole in the roof. Easy as that. As you can see the steps getting here not very, not very complicated, any of them. It's just very scary to, to kind of dig in with, with, a, with a saw and a grinder into, uh, into your favorite toy. Uh, in the end, this is for the greater good, I guess. Uh, I left way too much here on purpose. The, uh, the, the carbon fiber roof is only going to need about this much here. So I have about this much here that I'm going to take out. I purposely did it like that because it's much easier now to, to go from the top around here when I can stand here. Uh, I'll probably do that after the roll cage is, is welded in here. So I see how, how that turns out and when I have the actual roof here so I can fit it. Uh, just waiting for that to, to be delivered from DRS development in Holland. That's going to be really nice. I'll show you a little bit how this, how this roof looks here. As you can see, there is, there is like a beam, a cross beam here that goes across the roof. I have not touched this beam here. I purposely cut the roof on this side here and it's going to be a little bit further up here in the end. And, and that was because from the bottom, after this is done, you're not going to see the seam in between the steel roof and the carbon fiber roof because this is hidden. On this side here, you can see that right now this roof is a little bit uh, further out 
than, than what the beam is here, but that's going to get cut down. So I'll have the same appearance here where you won't be able to see the carbon fiber from the bottom. The same goes here in the back where really it's going to be cut close to the back here. You might see a little bit on this one and this might be the only place where you're going to see that. As you do this, there's also a lot of bracketing. I've taken this out with the, with the spot weld remover here. So that's pretty easy and it's quite a lot of it all the way around here. Best part of today, scoring time. Gonna start with the rear windows. So the rear quarter windows with the window, the seal and the trim. This is gonna be Lexan flush mounted in the end. It's uh, 3.2 kilo for both right now, so 1.6 kilos each. Uh, reading up a little bit on internet, it says that I'm going to save between 1.5 and, and 1.8 on both of them together. So I'm going to use 1.5 kilo of weight saving for this. Very good. Rear window together with seal is 8 kilos. So this one flush mounted means you have a much simpler seal than this, as well as the rear windscreen is it's made of Lexan. So it's much lighter. We'll end up with about four kilos weight saving on that. So in total for the windows, we're up at five and a half kilos weight saving going to the Lexan compared to the old school one. Roof alone with the sun sunroof with the motor, 21 kilos. Together with that, we have a little pile of junk here which makes this 25 kilos. So quite a lot for this. In the place of this 25 kilo contraption here is gonna go with carbon fiber skin, weighing in at about four and a half kilos with glue and everything, meaning that the weight saving going from, from this to a carbon fiber skin is about 20 and a half kilos. That's great because it's at the very top of the car, meaning it, it makes a difference. So I, I think this was really the right choice to go this path. Uh, in terms of stiffness, since this car is going to get a full weld-in roll cage, it's not an issue with stiffness because it doesn't rely on the skin. If you don't have that full weld-in cage and you try to do this, I, I don't think that would be a very good idea because you have a big hole here and nothing really that provides stiffness to this hole with nothing in the middle here. With that, we're at the end of this episode. We started this episode with 149 kilos left to go. We found 26 kilos this time. Five and a half of it is the rear windows. 20 and a half is replacing the, the sunroof with a carbon fiber skin. Meaning next episode is 123. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe to my channel. The next episode, we're going to clear out this or take out the four-wheel drive. I haven't decided which one of these we're doing, but it's going to be one of them, and it's going to be great. Thank you very much.